emotional day in court for a local family. For the first time, they see the person who police say killed their loved one. The woman lost her life in a violent crash on I-90. Winnie Dorch was there. She is live in the newsroom with new developments in this court case. Wilson died in the crash last month. The family in a Cleveland courtroom just a short time ago, very distraught and angry. They pleaded with the judge for the highest bond possible for the driver who police say caused the crash, James Farley. They also say the 58 year old didn't seem to have any remorse for his actions. Police say Farley was speeding down I-90 last month. Video shows he was racing or chasing after a red Honda Civic. That Civic also going well over the speed limit. Suddenly, Farley slammed into the back of Nelson's white Jeep, causing it to roll over. She flew out of the car. Sadly, Nelson died at the hospital. Farley pleaded not guilty today in court. His attorney says this was not an intentional act. He is remorseful and has no prior record. Nelson's family is just not buying it. That was my best friend. She was only 22 years old. She had a life to live. Who's Dallas? Is she? She was a boss. She had her own business, everything. So my family is part. And the, George order, the judge ordered Farley not to drive for the time being. His license has been forfeited. He is due back in court next month. Coming up at 3, I'll have more reaction from the family. In the newsroom, I'm Winnie Dorch, 19 News. The man